Today we're going to check out the new Google PageSpeed Insights. They've revamped the entire platform. In case you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty cool. And we're going to check it out starting right now. So while we weren't looking, Google PageSpeed Insights got a major overhaul in how it works, how it's designed. Before, it used to be more or less useless. The only really important thing that it gave you, important information it gave you was the time to first byte, which basically showed you how fast your server was. But everything else could be found elsewhere. But they've made it a lot better, I think. So let's check it out right now. It's going to analyze my main page, which I know needs some work. Click on Analyze. And we can see on the mobile tab, I'm sitting at 42. And 0 to 49 is slow. So super slow. And then I head over to Desktop. And I'm sitting at 91 for Desktop, which is in the fast area. How can that be? How can the mobile be so slow and the desktop be so fast? Well, Google attempts to explain that. And some of the most important things that I like in here is first contentful paint, first meaningful paint, all these different paint numbers. I think the desktop showed better images. Kind of. At least they showed green check marks. I like that better than those red ones. Uh, but the, the painting basically means, let me back up, site speed from a user's experience is not really the same thing as from, say, GT Metrics. Because GT Metrics will measure how long it takes everything to load, and that's great. But does a user really care if some JavaScript is taking a long time to load if the website already works? Not really. So for the user, the site speed really is how long does it take after I click a link and go to a website, how long does it take until I see something? And that's what these paint numbers are. So the first meaningful paint is the first time something appears on the page and the user's like, okay, something's happening. And then you kind of, by having something happen, you buy yourself a little more time. The user's like, okay, something's happening. I'll stick around instead of bouncing off. So in 0.7 seconds on the desktop, I have my first meaningful paint on the site. Or sorry, first contentful. And then first meaningful paint is at 1.3. They're saying it's a little slow, but at least we had something at 0.7. We bought us some more time to get to 0.3. And then it shows us how long it takes for everything else to load. Contrast that with mobile. First content full paint is 2.7 seconds. First meaningful paint is 6 seconds. Why my mobile is so much slower, I'm not exactly sure. It'd be really interesting if you ran this on your site and let us know in the comments down below if your mobile is slower than your desktop, desktop slower than mobile, or vice versa, or what your relationship is between those two speeds. And I think the difference is Lighthouse, which is where Google's getting their data, they analyzed the page on an emulated mobile network. So maybe they're emulating slower connections because a desktop connection is usually faster than a mobile connection. Maybe that has something to do with it, so the connection is slower, but I haven't really served lighter weight content to mobile. It's all the same content pretty much as on desktop. So maybe that's what the issue is. And as we scroll down, we see some opportunities for improving. Defer off-screen images. Serve images in next-gen formats. Defer on your CSS. And when you click down on here, it shows you what it's talking about, which image exactly, and stuff you can address. Looks like my main image at the top is an issue that they don't like. And I think they're right. It's pretty big. I could do a lot to compress that. But either way, there's a lot of stuff to do in a website, and you might not be on top of everything. So using scans like this is really important because it, it's not necessarily stuff you don't know, or the stuff that's going to come out of left field. It's stuff that maybe you forgot to do or stuff that you know you should do but you hadn't done yet. Either way, it's important to do these kind of scans. There's more information on our diagnostics, and we passed 12 audits on this site, so that's nice. Even though we passed it, it looks like there's a big warning on here. Anyway, I'm working on a full-length tutorial series on how to speed up your site by using these scans and addressing each item individually. And that won't be just for Google PageSpeed Insights. That will also be for GT Metrics and PingDOM. And we're going to go through each thing step by step and try to get our site speed up to the 90s. I'm going to have to work on the mobile one, clearly. But get them both, mobile and desktop, up into the 90s or closer to 100, preferably, and make our sites faster. So that's the new Google PageSpeed Insights. If you haven't checked it out yet, do it now. And leave a comment down below with your scores because it would be interesting to know. It doesn't matter if they're good or bad. We're all here to help each other. You saw my scores, and one of them is pretty good. The other one's not so good. 
So we can all help each other. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these awesome videos. And next up is watching this video where I show you how to gzip files. And this one down here, I show you how to lazy load images. Do both of those things in the next 10 minutes. They don't take very long. Do both of those and I bet your PageSpeed Insight scores are gonna go up just by doing those two things. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.